Hello, Cancer. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoiche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. <clears throat> what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess, or Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marachinsky. So some of you may have been in a, a relationship in the past. Could also be a current relationship. For others of you, this could be a situationship. <clears throat> For a small portion of you, this could be someone that you've met and you have a strong connection with them. But no one's really speaking up. Okay. <sighs> there is love. For those of you who are new, my method of reading is just slightly different. I do have the ability of channeling through my higher intuitive self to get the answers that I need. So I do not channel through any spirit guides. I never have. And I have certain reasons for that. First card is the strongest we have here. Abundance. Money. Followed by doubt, creativity, mystery, pleasure, synthesis, love, boundaries, and then we have wisdom under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Cancer, the connection that I have with you I want it to be more than what it is now. I want to gain wisdom from you. I want to learn from you and I want to grow with you. I feel that you and I could be a great power couple. I know that you have a lot of earning potential. I know that you have a lot of potential. But money has been an issue. And now I doubt because of this, that anything in this connection, I don't know if it will work out. I have doubts when it comes to the faith, the trust in this connection. Should I stay or should I go? I don't know. There is a sense of me wanting to create something in this connection wanting and desiring something to be that person who can leave something long lasting for generations to see I want to be with you because I see you for who you are this feeling of me wanting to create something with you I want this to be a web of love I would like to weave where you are the center of my world my universe and everything revolves around you and you are that center the reason why I want to do this is because I see you are someone who is quite different I feel that I have a spiritual connection with you. This connection that exists, it is true, it is big. Sometimes I feel as if I've known you from before. I feel as if you and I are connected. 
even though I may not know you that well. A part of me now feels that in this connection, no matter where I go, no matter what I do, there's a part of you that always stays with me. When you're not there, I can smell your scent. When you're not there, I can feel your presence. And sometimes when you're not there, I just know you're thinking about me while I'm thinking about you. There's this feeling of knowingness where you have known me and I have known you. And I feel so comfortable. This feeling of comfort is quite a bit. I question the universe. I ask the heavens, why is it that all this has happened? Why have I met you now? Why not before? Why not long ago? Or why not far into the future? Are we meant to be together? Are we supposed to be together? I question myself because these are, for me, important questions. I feel there is something unique and there's something very deep in this connection. I've known you from before and I feel so comfortable with you. I have felt a lot of pleasure in this connection. The pleasure that I feel it is vast. It is beautiful. The pleasure is physical and spiritual and even emotional. You tick every box. And things have changed now. So much has changed. I want to be that person who can come out from the shadows of this thick forest and tell you the truth about what has been on my mind. Certain things that have been on my mind. There have been times when I've kept my distance. I have not been very open, very honest. And the problem I feel because of this is there is a lack of truth. I've hidden things from you, hidden them in the shadows. But once upon a time, there was peace and harmony. Now there's not. What I want to do is restore that peace and harmony. Why do I want to restore it? Because I love you. I have love for you. There's this feeling that I have. And the feeling is unconditional love. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, it's always going to be okay. Everything will be okay. I do feel that in this connection, this is a sacred love. It's a true love. It's the kind of love that is memorable and refreshing. And it is there that exists just by default. But you don't know any of this. You don't know how I feel <clears throat> because I don't show you since I've put up boundaries. Why have I put up boundaries? Part of the reason is because I feel this connection is too intense. It kind of scares me. I get a little scared. I get a little nervous. But in addition to that, I know that in this connection there has been 
a lack of communication. I don't want to be vulnerable, and so I put up my boundaries. I don't want to seem weak in the knees and emotionally vulnerable. I don't want that, so I put up my boundaries. Overall, I feel that in this connection, I have learned quite a bit. I am now more wise, wiser than before. What I once was, I was irresponsible, arrogant, ignorant, and very stubborn. You don't know. You don't know that I've changed. Hopefully one day you will, but for now, I know that you will not be able to see this. You will not be able to see the love. You will not be able to see the things that I have gone through and how I feel about you because I keep up these boundaries. All right. <clears throat> Cancer. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So, there's a situation here. Firstly, this could be vice versa. Cancer, you could also be having some of these feelings because of the mystery card. That card is my past life card. So, this is someone that you've met who is your twin flame, your soulmate, or your karmic partner. This person you may have had most likely um, a past life connection with. It's very rare that I get future life readings, but that has happened where it's written in your fate and destiny and eventually you'll be together, but this is not your lifetime. You'll be together in a few lifetimes, for example. That's what a future life reading is. And I don't I don't look to look for future right readings. Like the future life readings, they, they're different. When I get an order for a, li a, a past life reading, the majority of the time they're all past lives, but then there's these anomalies that I get where they haven't actually met yet in that way. And the only time they will be together is in the far future. So that is something that I, I do. Um, but this I see in visions, but I also confirm with my angel guide, Angel Fakiel, because she tells me things that she sees and that's her specialty. So What's really interesting about your situation is, yes, you may be mirroring each other, you may be very similar in terms of the feelings and emotions, but there's about two things here that really are popping out. One is money. Something in this connection is related to finances or materialistic gain. There could be a lack of, or they could hopefully be an abundance of. But because we have doubt, we also have abundance, a doubt of money, right? So somebody here is doubting that they may not be equipped, they may not be as settled as you need them to be. And you might not even need them to be settled, but they feel that they need to be settled for you. Settled mean they can afford a home, they have a vehicle, right? These days, in the modern world, the necessities that we have um, those are not considered luxuries anymore. That's a necessity. So that sort of thing, that's what this person feels that they would like to give to you. So there is an issue here. For some of you, this could be a struggle in terms of money. For others of you, this could be a problem that is being created because of money related issues. Now that's one aspect here where we have the keyword money or, or, um, materialistic gain. Now we also have this. What this is really interesting, Cancer. You have somebody here who is in love with you, okay? We got that, no worries. But what they're trying to do is put a block on this love. Your person of interest is quite naive in a way. Why are they naive? Simply because they don't even realize the problem that is occurring is even if they're putting up boundaries, 
they are still in love with you. So what's the use of putting up boundaries? Even if they have love for you, they're trying to not, they're trying to not fall in love, but, uh, <clears throat> I see an ocean, I see waves, I see the side of a yacht, plain white side, the, I think the edge of the yacht, the beak or the nose of the yacht, somebody sitting there and they're going like this. They're trying not to fall into the water. There is water here. But this person's slipping and sliding into the water. So they're moving their feet rapidly, like back, back, back. I don't want to fall into the water. For me, let's see what that means. Okay, so if you hear a whisper, don't worry, that's me whispering because I have to put these thoughts together. Um, your person of interest here does not want to fall in love because if they do, they feel that they won't be ready. Also, they feel that they're not, they're too scared. They're too scared to fall and jump in love. Crosswatcher, the issue here is you already are in love. So what's the use of hiding from it and not even admitting it anymore? There's no use. Yes, you are not showing cancer. And this is what's happening here, Cancer. You're not being shown this affection that this person feels for you. However, on the, on the other side, this person's trying to save themselves from showing you that they love you. They don't want to show you that they love you. That's from their point of view. But the reality is they are already in love with you. For me, logically, what is the use of that? Clearly, Cross Watcher does not want Cancer to know. They don't want them to be that person that makes them not only go head over heels, but maybe even worse. Love can turn into an obsession. It can go very deep. Love can become very deep. And this is something that this person wants to avoid. But when somebody avoids it, it also means that they've already known it, they've experienced it, and they might just be experiencing it now. So this is why for me, it just doesn't make sense of putting in that type of effort. If you're already in love with this person, why are you putting a block on it? Because eventually, it's only going to overflow that water, that water, where that yacht is, that knows it's tilted downwards. The person's trying to go upwards. They're trying not to be touched by that water, that emotion from that water. But eventually, it is going to tilt and the person will. They're going to delve right in. And what happens? That love will start to overflow and it will be probably overwhelming for a while, guys, because I see that happening. It's going to be overwhelming. They're not going to know what to do. Then they're going to get into this quiet phase. And eventually long time from now, eventually people then end up just reaching out and they realize, you know what? I can't escape this because I can't stop thinking about my cancer. I need to be with my cancer. It's um, it's a process. So we have here mystery. This is somebody from your past life. Like I said, could be future life, but either way, it's supposed to be somebody who, who is a spiritual connection. And that is a very intense connection. This is somebody that you cannot let go of. It could be vice versa too. You are maybe obsessing over this person and it's hard to move away. Letting go is always an issue um, in this type of a situation. We also have here wisdom. So with the wisdom card, your person of interest has become different. But how are you supposed to know this? You can't because of the boundaries. They're not really showing you what is going on inside of their heart, inside of their mind. They're very closed off. However, being the person who is a bit wiser, they don't want to rush into anything. Every single action that they take going forward is going to be very calculated. Okay, let's have a look at... I have here... The Lover's Path Tarot. Okay. 
we have here the Four of Staffs. And this just slid off. I tried to put it away, but it slid and fell down. So you have two, actually. Four of Staffs, Nine of Arrows, and then we have the Two of Arrows. <clears throat> so for those of you who are new, this deck I like to read in the reverse, and this deck indicates something that happened in the past. So I like to go in a little bit into the past to see what happened in the first place. Things may have been great in the beginning, but then things started to just go south. It just did not work out. Everything went downhill. For that reason, it's important to know what happened. What was on this person's mind? Why did they change? Things were okay before. Your person of interest may not have explained this to you, and that's why this is what I do. Also, this is for those of you that may have not gotten any sort of closure. There was a lack of communication, and it's um, decreased as time has gone by. Maybe once a week they message you, or once a month they message you, and it's just so scarce. You're just wondering what happened. The person may have faded. The person may have taken you for granted. The first set of cards that you just saw, that is the current state. This is slightly in the past, but to see what it is that was on their mind, and I do read these in the reverse. We have here the Four of Staffs. Let's see. The Four of Staffs here, in the reverse, talks about wanting stability. But having frustrations and disappointments at home. Wanting closure to an unstable situation. Here we have frustrations or disappointments at home. So this does show your person of interest was having some sort of frustration and they were disappointed with their home life. Now home life could be wherever they live. Could also be the society that they're from. But there's a sense of disappointment and frustration. So that is something that's already on their mind, already in their personality. So even if they were to meet you, they may have been irritable as well. Because in the back, like backstage, this is what their mind was all about. They were upset. They were not happy. Nine of arrows. This is a huge card. It's a very meaningful and impactful card. I'm going to read the whole thing. Nine of Arrows, anxiety, unresolved issues, insomnia, worries that keep one awake at night, an issue that needed to be looked at more closely. Only then will it be transformed. Trials and tribulations, guilt, psychic disturbances. The fading away of these worries, wanting to do so, Understanding, wanting to understand. The ability to transform pain into strength, that is what they wanted. But they could not do that because there was anxiety, insomnia, and unresolved issues. There was feelings of guilt and psychic disturbances. So, because of what was happening behind the scenes in their life, they did not tell you what was happening with you they had a different reality that they were living in with the other side of their life that was a different reality so it's like two different bubbles so their bubble with you was very sheltered very different but the real them was also on another level they never showed you that side of them and the problem is it started to seep through it was still connected those bubbles are still connected and so because of it Certain parts came through and that became a problem. It is a problem. This now has become a situation where it is very difficult for an individual to move on because of disappointments in the home. This could be people getting divorced at home. This could be separation at home. People who are sick at home, but not being treated well either at home. So. In their home life, either this could be from the past, this could be trauma, this could also be current, 
But whatever the case is, there was definitely a feeling of negative behavior, negative feelings here. That's definitely there. We also have here the two of arrows. The two of arrows here talks about discomfort with a decision and over-reliance on the intellect and leaving emotions unconsidered. Yeah, so whatever this person was going through in their own life, they had a different viewpoint of how love should be expressed. And their expression towards you, with you, was quite different. I do see here all of this stems from the disappointments in the home. And when I say home, this could be family, this could be friends, this could be society, even workplace. Their dealings with other people caused the problem moving forward. Okay. I have here... The Beginner's Tarot. So with this deck, I like to have a look at any actions, any plans, any intentions your person of interest has towards you. <clears throat> All right. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Are they ever? Look at that. Absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous guys the nine of cups and you have the ten of cups in sequence here w really good beautiful two of pentacles your person of interest is so overwhelmed because they've bitten off more than they can chew and digest stretch far too thin too many responsibilities too many burdens overwhelmed by work that they have taken on and overwhelmed by other chores responsibilities by other people other things that they think maybe they don't have to deal with, but they feel that they're stuck with it. And so they have to juggle their time. Now, juggling their time also means taking time out and either being with you or not being with you, but they are unable to give you that time, energy and effort because they are spending that time, energy and effort on something else or on someone else. Their time is being distributed in that way. And so it's a problem for them to juggle and have you in between that too. They're finding that difficult. We also have your temperance. Beautiful card. Your person of interest here does feel that a phase of life, a stage that the both of you were in, it's all finished now. It's all over. And the dust has settled and now a new day is dawning. Right? This is what they feel. So now they feel that going forward there needs to be an equal give and take. Things need to be quite equal in this connection. If they are not, things might not work out. So it is important to note that this person feels that this connection is spiritually guided. And you do have the angels here working with you to create a better balance, to have an equal give and take. Now, your person of interest is going to reach out to you. But are they going to be bold like a king? No. Will they be more like a knight? No. They're just going to be a little page. And that's all you have here, a page. However, any effort is good effort, even if it is from the personality of someone that is like a page. This is somebody who is immature and inexperienced. They may be mature and experienced, but their approach is going to be very sheepish, very shy, very gentle and soft, maybe even not a whole lot of words. Just keep in mind the only reason they're coming to you is because of the Nine of Cups. They wish for you. They desire you. They love you. Emotionally, they are attached to you. And then we have here the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the ultimate goal. Right after the Nine of Cups, you have the elevated Ten of Cups. The wish that they had wanted to come true is now true. It's all come true. This is somebody that wants to be with you. They want a home. 
They want a family. Could be children. It could be plants. It could be pets. It could be anything. But prosperity and growth, those are the key words. Prosperity and growth. That is what this person wants. Happy, sunshine days, picnics, all all that. Um, they really just... They love you so, so much. It's very nice. Cancer, I do see this person absolutely reaching out to you. I hope, fingers crossed, that the rest of this reading does resonate because this part is amazing, honestly. They wished for you, they want you, and they're headed that way. And they're going to try to see if they can juggle and if they can balance certain things that have happened in this connection. Perhaps there was a lack of balance before and they recognize this. They see it. Just going to do a quick prayer. All right, these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel. We have here Communicate Clearly. Then we have wait. If you believe in the near future, a year from now, don't stop. Then we have help for people, followed by look for a sign under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. So we do have some cards here that are talking about time. There's wait, there's in the near future, and then you have a year from now. Please keep in mind that a year from now card, in this deck, it only goes up to a year from now. It doesn't have three years from now or five years from now. So if it does show up, it just means that this was not the time. Yes, it's going to take some time. Not necessarily a year, but from now until the next few months. First card's as strong as we have here, communicate clearly. So it does suggest to communicate clearly. This is any type of message that you may send to this person, any type of words you say, just make them clear to the point and relevant, right? Don't have any irrelevant sort of words. Also, if you have been having arguments with them and things were very rough, I recommend that you use the I method. The I method is when you say, I believe, dot, dot, dot. I think, dot, dot, dot. I feel, dot, dot, dot. So when you use the I method, it is less aggressive. And when you use that, it probably will let the other person think about where you're coming from. And it won't be too much on them, but they will want to talk about you. And eventually, they'll want to talk about themselves. Very good. Now we have wait. Communicate clearly and then wait. Okay. Wait is there because this person will need to process certain things that are being said. Remember, you're dealing with somebody that has disappointments at home. Disappointments in the sense that they're never really heard. Their opinion, nobody hears them. They're not important. This is how they feel. So if you make them feel important and if you do listen to them, why not? We also have here, if you believe... If you believe that this connection is going to work out, then you will be able to make that happen. But, of course, please remember, be logical about it, be practical about it. There's some people that haven't connected with this person in many months, many years, and you cannot expect just literally a miracle to happen out of nowhere. It does not happen like that. There has to be at least some sort of a connection. And even if it is a spiritual connection, yeah, people do manifest. All of a sudden, somebody will just call you out of the blue. But if it's been like 10 years, 20 years, probably it's time for you to move on. Definitely. Um, and I say that because I have had clients that have been waiting for 10, 15 and 20 years. Yeah, not healthy. Let's move on. 
Your life is too precious. Your time is too precious. Love is love, but life moves on. We have here also in the near future, a year from now. So this does show me, actually, it's not going to be a full year from now, which is great. In the near future, this could be seven, eight, even nine months down the road. Something's going to happen. That's going to be more positive. You're going to get a chance to communicate with this individual, which is great. They're also saying to you in the near future, something's going to happen where you will be able to express yourself. And what they're saying here is don't stop. Don't stop giving and receiving that positive energy. Keep it coming. Keep it flowing. Helpful people. They're saying that it's important for you to talk to some people and they will be helpful. You don't even realize that there are some people out there that have a lot of knowledge and they have a lot of love for you so they can talk to you. What I'm seeing here is people who, for example, are your friends, your family members, people that you can trust, two, three people maximum, you don't have to talk to too many people, but they will give you ideas and experiences that they've gone through, and you can learn from that. Here, eventually, you will be shown signs and synchronicities. <clears throat> when you see that, you'll be able to move forward. But don't go out looking for signs and synchronicities. They will come to you naturally. And when they do, at the moment that they do, it will make sense to you then. This could be numbers, this could be colors, this could be anything that is a repetitive nature. And those are usually signs from the universe. And with the universe, it's governed by the holy light of God the holy light. Cancer, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situations. Do let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated. For those of you who are new, I do have another channel. The link is below in the description box. That is on YouTube. It's called Asnoitia Audio. And on that channel, I have some videos on relationship-related advice, spiritual connections, and one of them is on negative energies, what and who they are and how to get rid of them. So those videos are all free, beginning to end. Please have a view and you'll be able to learn a few things from there, hopefully. You may find it enlightening or helpful. Now, we also have on my website, there are some packages that are still available. So feel free to have a look. And if you feel that for the past life, because this was a past life one, if you feel that the past life one is something that you want, have a look at the description, place an order. And if you cannot place an order for the past life one uh, package, please email me and I will put you on the waiting list. Now, regarding that first card that we also have, mystery, <clears throat> with the past life, on Astrointia Audio on YouTube, you'll see that... I have a few videos on past lives. One is past life and spiritual connections, and one is sensually intense spiritual connections. You did have pleasure. So it is important, I believe, that you have a look at that if this connection is bothering you that much, because it does provide a lot of information, and you will see that, you know what, you're not alone. There are a lot of people out there that are going through the same thing. It's very common. And... It happens. It's not something that we can avoid. Sometimes we are here to teach them a lesson. Sometimes they're here to teach us a lesson. All right. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situations. Please do let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated, um, That especially that part with the money-related thing, um, if there's anything to do with that or abundance or wanting to settle down or commit or having that sort of materialistic gain. But um, also, are there boundaries? This person loves you, but it's like they you know how they feel and they know how they feel, but no one's really talking about it. That's kind of what I got from there because of the boundaries card. There are boundaries in this connection. Cross watcher, there's no use. You're in love. You're in love. Weeds. Love is like a weed. It will pop up anywhere. No matter what you do, it will come back.
That's what love is. Love is a weed. All right, guys. I'll see you guys again. You take care. Stay safe. Bye now.